Hi, I'm Glyn Jewis. Welcome to episode 44. Now, before we get on with this tutorial, just a reminder, in the previous video, I showed you how you can make fake rain in your pictures just by using a brush. And that's gonna make a lot more sense now with this tutorial, because here I'm gonna show you how you can make objects, people, or animals just have that kind of wet look to them. But before we dive over into it, make sure that you click on the subscribe button. That's all the support I ask from you guys. Click on the subscribe button, and that way you're gonna get to know when there's new content that's been published each and every single week. And also, while you're there, let other people know about this channel. That's all I ask for. Just a little bit of support, click on that subscribe button, and you're done. Anyway, let's crack on with the tutorial. Here we're gonna use the plastic wrap filter to show you how you can make things look a little bit on the wet side. Now, in an earlier video, I showed you how to make the effect of rain, and that's the rain that you can see in this picture here, and that's just using some brushes that we get off a website called DeviantArt. But once we've added in the rain, what we also wanna to do to add that element of realism is to make whatever is in the picture also look wet, and that's what I wanna show you in this picture. I wanna show you how we can use maybe just one filter within Photoshop to fake the wet look, and it's the same look that I've used on these elephants here. Now, this is the final picture, but let's just jump over to a copy of the picture where we've got it kind of like partly retouched. Here we can see the rain effect that we went through in the earlier video, but now I want to make the elephants look as if they're wet before we then carry on with the retouching. So we're now working on the layer containing the elephants. You can see I can turn those elephants on and off there. So they've been cut out of the original picture and brought into this image. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a filter. So obviously when we're using filters, we work non-destructively. So at the top of the menu, we're going to go to the filter and we're going to choose convert for smart filters that gives us the flexibility of changing any settings later on if the ones we apply first of all aren't quite right then we're going to go to filter and we're going to actually choose filter gallery now within here there's loads of different uh, options that we have loads of different folders containing all kinds of artistic looks brush strokes stylized you name it there's loads in there but the one we're going to use is in the artistic folder and it's a uh, particular filter called plastic wrap and you'll see it just in the third row down on the far right hand side now when I click on that we've got a great preview here in this huge dialog box to show us the effect that these sliders are going to give on our image I might just zoom out just a little touch just by pressing the minus like so so we can see both the adult and the baby elephant okay so now we're, we're actually in this dialog box one thing I like to do if we come over to the right hand side where we've got the sliders that control the overall look that we're going to have what I want to do is first we'll put the sliders about midway so we're going to get the overall kind of effect we can see in the huge dialog box here on the left but then once we've got them in the middle of uh, the little sliders in the middle here we can start to play around with them to see what kind of effect we're going to get now the first one's called highlight strength I tend to think of this one as opacity so as I move this one over to the right hand side if you look at the elephant you see how much more is being added onto him the highlights are getting a lot lot stronger but if I take it to the left they become less and less and less so I tend to think of that one as the opacity of the actual effect now the detail this I tend to think of as amount now again if you see if I move this one to the right hand side look at the elephants now they're going to be literally covered with this kind of effect all over them but if I take it to the left it becomes less and less and less so that's kind of like the amount and then the smoothness slider I tend to think of as blur if I take this one to the left you'll see that the actual plastic wrap filter as you zoom in on the elephants here it's a lot more angular it's very very kind of like a core kind of effect but if I take it to the right hand side all those kind of like highlights that kind of like a wrap effect tends to blend into each other which kind of like makes it look a lot smoother which is really what we want when we're looking to add that wet look so all I do when I'm in here now is kind of play around with the settings so it depends really how wet you want the elephants to look or whatever it is that you're adding this onto but I'm going to bring up the highlights just a little bit and we'll add some detail to the right hand side and then we're going to smooth them out so they're really, really wet. In fact, that's probably a little bit too much there. So let's back off the detail, or rather the amount, just around about there. 
Now you're going to see areas on the elephant that we don't really like it. It does add some kind of like strange lines over the actual certain parts of the body. Certainly when we can see as it's coming down the legs, you've got these like lines, but we don't need to worry about that because once we've applied this effect, in fact, let's just leave it as it is for now and we'll click OK. So we do now go back into our image. You can see that straight away, that is way too much. But what I like to do now, because we've used this as a smart filter, it does come with its own layer mask and it's white at the moment, which means we can see the whole effect. But if I click on the layer mask and I now invert it so I don't see the effect and I can then paint it in where I want it. So I've now clicked on the layer mask. I'm going to go to image adjustments and invert and that's going to turn a white layer mask to black. Now the effect is still there but I can reveal it now in certain areas with a white brush. So my foreground colour is white as you can see that from the toolbar over here. I'm going to get a brush and we'll just go for a nice simple soft edge brush 100% opacity right at the top of the screen we can see here. And then all I'll do is I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to paint certain areas. If I increase the size of the brush with my right bracket key I'm going to paint certain areas of the elephant to say right well a little bit of water would be there coming down his back as well and on his tail a little bit down the back of his legs but I'm not actually painting over that part here where we originally saw in the actual uh, filter itself with that other odd line I'm painting within the leg just to give it this kind of effect just here and then we can paint over the back of the baby elephant like so so you can kind of choose the areas where you want the elephant to appear if he's, if he's put my teeth in as if he's wet like so. So you're not going to like apply the filter to the whole of him, just choose certain areas. And again, the great thing is here, if you think that's maybe a little bit too strong, if you want to reduce it or change the effects, you can double click on the word filter gallery to come back into here. Or if you kind of like it but want to just reduce the overall effect a little bit, here on the layer we've got this little um, two horizontal bars with two little triangles. If we double click on that, it brings up this blending options dialog box where we have an opacity slider. And that's where we can reduce the overall opacity of all those sliders just to reduce the effect or increase it to how we want it to exactly look. So it's just a way of faking that kind of wet look. Obviously you could never beat it if you actually photograph them wet but there are times we're going to use pictures like stock images or pictures given by friends like this one was for me where we the actual pictures aren't wet we can use this plastic wrap filter to make it look as if it was now if I go back to the final image you can see here as I zoom in here you can see a very very subtly how that plastic wrap filter has been used just to give that little bit of wet look to both the elephant adult and the baby something you've got to really got to do if you're going to be adding in that rain anyway you can't have dry objects if you've got rain in your pictures So there you go, again, nice and quick, nice and simple, and I think it really does work. It does definitely sell that effect there of making objects look that little bit wet. And especially in pictures where you're gonna be adding in all that fake rain, I think this is something that you really do need to apply. Just to remember that when you wanna increase the look of it, those sliders are gonna to go to the right, and when you, when you want to have less of an effect, you can bring it over to the left. But because we're using it as a smart filter, later on we can also use that opacity slider to reduce the overall effect on all three three sliders so we really can dial it in how we want it now that's all for this week but make sure like I said at the start that you click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the content that I publish each and every single week and also let other people know about it but for this week that's all I've got for you I'll see you next time